So here naman, we have the limits of trigonometric functions. But before we proceed, we'll just have some review on trigonometric identities and some concepts that we need to know before we um, solve or evaluate limits of some trigonometric functions. Okay? Let's just have a recall of some trigo functions or trigo identities. Okay? Trigo identities. Okay? We have sine x. Okay? Sometimes we denote the angle as yung theta, ganun, alpha, ay, infinity pa yun, okay? Alpha, beta, ganun. Those are Greek alphabets. Pero usually, yung ginagamit natin is dito sa pag-solve ng limits, when we include um, trigonometric functions, we use x. Para pag nag-limit of sine x tayo, as x at purchase, um, set certain value pa rin. Pero pag theta naman, for example, limit of sine theta, dapat ang gamitin as theta approaches zero. Dapat mga ganon. Okay? So, we have sine x. These are the basic trigo identities. Sine x, cosine x, ano pa? Um, tangent x. Tama? And alam natin na ang reciprocal ng sine x ay cosecant x. Reciprocal ng cosine x ay secant x and ang reciprocal ng tangent x ay cotangent x and alam din natin na ang tangent x ay equal to sine x all over cosine x wag nyo kalilimutan ang mga to and then ang cotangent x natin since tangent x ang reciprocal niya ay cotangent x so that means reciprocal lang din ni sine x over cosine x so ang cotangent x natin ay cosecant x all over sine x. And so, many more. So, you have to um, recall all the different trigonometric identities. Yung mga double angle, Pythagorean theorem, okay? And so many more. Okay? We also have this, pag sa limit naman class, theorems natin, states here that the limit of sine x all over x plus plus Itong x na to, ibig sabihin, any angle, basta magkapareha sa angle divided by denominator. For example, sine 2x all over 2x. Pag limit niyan daw, as x approaches 0, that is automatic equal to 1. Kasi, if you're going to evaluate it class using your calculator, sine 0 is 0. Divided by 0, that means that is indeterminate. However, states here, na derive na to, no? Um, it states here na, na limit of sine x all over x as x approaches 0, that is equal to 1. Okay? So, Memorize nito, limit of x over sine x as x approaches 0 is equal to 1. Not indeterminate na. And sa cosine naman, limit of 1 minus cosine x all over x as x approaches 0, that is equal to 0. And then the limit of cosine x minus 1 divided by x as x approaches 0, that is equal to 1. And the last one is the limit of sine ax all over sine bx. It is equal to the numerical coefficient of v. Um, angles, so that is sine A, B. Ay, all over, A all over B. For example, sine a class. Um, the limit of sine 3x divided by sine 5x as x approaches 0. You don't need to solve that one na. Automatic class tang sagot dyan is 3 all over 5. Okay? So, let's have some examples. Okay, example number 1. Limit Okay, check on this class. The limit of sine cube x all over x cube. Class, itong sine cube x, okay, sine cube x ay parehas lang yan sa sine x, um, the quantity of sine x cube. Okay, ibig sabihin, imumultiply ko sa sine x thrice. Pero hindi yan parehas class sa sine x cube. Pag ganyan class ang dating niya, si angle x ang nakacube, hindi yung buong um, term ng sine x. Nakuha? They are not the same. Okay? Ang the same dito class is itong sine cube x tsaka quantity sine x cube. Pero dito sa baba, they are not the same. Okay? So, pag ganyan class ang nangyari, susulat ko rin siya sine x cube all over x cube. Limit as x approaches 0. In the loss of exponent class, di ba ang a raised to m all over b raised to m 
Di ba class? Parehas lang yan kung different base, same exponent, pwede mo gawin niyang A over B raised to M. Di isang exponent na. Ba? They are just the same. Law of exponents. So, I can rewrite this one class as sine x all over x cubed. Limit as x approaches 0. Plus, di ba sa law, yung sa loss ng limits natin, di ba, for example, limit of x raised to n as x approaches a sana, di ba, we can write that one as limit of x as x approaches a raised to n. Di ba? So, here, class, I can rewrite this one as the limit of sine x over x as x approaches 0 raised to 3. And kung makikita mo, class, Itong loob, pareha siya doon sa number 1. Sine x all over x as x approaches 0. Tama ba? Theorem number 1. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot dito is 1 cube or that is equal to 1. Okay? Let's take this example number 2. The limit of sine cube 2x all over x cube. So, as x approaches 0. We substitute 0, so 2 times 0 is 0, sine 0 is 0. x cubed, 0 cubed, 0. So that is 0 over 0. Hence, this is indeterminate. So, gawin natin, we gawin natin ng paraan para makuha natin yung sagot. Okay? Uh, we apply, di ba, yung simplify tayo. Okay? Ang nakikinita ko dito, class, is that if this is sine 2x, di ba, tapos cube, cube ulit. Parang yung example, number 1 lang siya. Wherein, I can rewrite this one class as sine 2x all over x raised to 3. Diba? 1 sana to. Kaso, this is 2x, this is x. Diba? It's pretty you rin, dapat pareha silang x. Pero, however, that is 2x. So, ang gagawin ko class is gawin kong 2x si denominator. Magmumultiply ako ng 2 all over 2 sa loob. So, mangyari is sine 2x all over x times 2. 2 all over 2. Di ba parang wala anong bearing yan? Kasi 2 divided by 2 is 1. Di ba? Okay, raised to 3. Ngayon, class, itong numerator, hindi mo i-multiply si 2 sa 2x ha? Kasi basta rin mo maging 4x. No. Kasi si 2x angle yan. Ibig sabihin mong 2 class, i-multiply ko dito sa buong function. Okay? So, magiging 2 sine 2x yan all over 2 times x that is 2x. Nakuha? Raised to 3. Huwag kakalimutan si 3. Ngayon, that is limit, okay, limit as x approaches 0. So, pag i-multi, ilalapapasok, di ba, yung sa rule natin ganyan na class, na yung limit ni x raised to n, di ba, pwedeng, as x approaches a, pwedeng limit of x muna as x approaches a raised to n. I-limit mo muna yung loob bago mo siya i-cube. So, gawin ko dito is 2, Okay, limit ni sine 2x all over 2x. Plus, nilabas ko na si 2 kasi constant naman siya. Di ba? Pwede lang yun. Okay, as x approaches 0 raised to 3. So, para ang dating yan, plus is 2 times the limit. Or pwede mo rin naman gawing limit of 2 as x approaches 0. Pero nirunan natin, plus na ang limit ng constant, di ba? The constant itself. So, kahit huwag ko nang isulat sa limit na term. Okay? So, kahit 2 na lang. Pero dito, sige, isulat lang natin. So, limit of 2 as x approaches 0 is still 2. ba? So, 2 times the limit of sine to x. Plus, din sila sabi ko, same na yung angles. Ayun, yung angle, same na sa denominator. Okay? Sine 2x over 2x as x approaches 0. ba? That is equal to your 1. So, that times 1. Don't forget the exponent. Raised to 3. So, that is 2 raised to 3, and that is equal to 8. Example number 3. Limit of x cotangent x as x approaches 0. Okay, class. Ang gagawin ko dito is that, I'm going to simplify first this cotangent x. Diba during the introduction, yung recall of identities natin, that is cotangent x. By the way, that is 0 times 0, and 0 times 0 is indeterminate. That's why this is indeterminate. So, gawa tayo ng... Um, paraan para masimplify natin siya. We know class that cot um, cotangent x is equal to cosine x all over sine x. Diba? So, 
Papalitan ko si cotangent x ng cosine x all over sine x. So, cot x times cosine x all over sine x. And then here class, i-arrange ko siya. Gagawin ko, um, ayusin ko, pagsamahin ko si x sine x. Di ba, pag commutative property, okay lang yun sa multiplication. For example, x, y, parehas lang yan siya sa y times x. Walang pinagkaiba, di ba? Walang bearing. Commutative property. So, if I'm going to rewrite this one, I can write here as limit of cosine x times x all over sin x. As x approaches 0. Di ba, class? Doon sa law of limits natin, di ba, ang, ang limit ng f of x times g of x as x approaches 0, okay, pag dalawang function, Pag i-multiply, ah, di ba, pag kinuha natin yung limit yan, pwede limit of f of x muna as x approaches 0 times the limit ni g of x as x approaches 0. Di ba? So, dito, pag hiwalayin ko, gusto kong gawin limit ni cosine x as x approaches 0 times the limit of x over sine x as x approaches 0. Sakto? Okay. Limit of cosine x, cosine 0, substitute ko, times, di ba class, ang limit ni x all over sine x as x approaches 0, dun sa, balikan nyo yung rules natin, that is equal to 1. Tama? So, times 1. So, cosine 0, using your calculator, okay, that is equal to 1, times 1, therefore, the answer here in class is 1. Okay? Okay? Let's have this example, number 4. The limit of sine squared x all over 1 minus cosine x as x approaches 0. So sine 0 is 0, cosine 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is 0 all over 0. Hence, this is in indeterminate form. So we need to simplify. Okay. Ang technique class, when it is in trigonometric form, ay, if it is a trigonometric function instead, gawin mong para magkaparehas yung numerator and denominator para may ma-cancel out, di ba? We know class that okay, sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1. Si numerator na sine, gawin ko in terms of cosine. So, i-represent ko siya in terms of cosine. Okay, this is identity yan, di ba? So, gawin ko class, ang sine squared x, it trans Post cos cosine squared x sa kabila. That becomes 1 minus cosine squared x. Okay? So, si sine squared x ay parehas sa 1 minus cosine squared x. So, in right natin, limit sine squared x is 1 minus cosine squared x all over 1 minus cosine x. As x approaches 0. Pwede na ba kung mag-cancel out? No. Pero makikita mo dito ka sa numerator that is again difference of two perfect square. Wherein ang A ko is si 1, ang B ko si cosine x. Okay? Parang 1 square minus cosine x square. Diba? So this is my A, this is my B, that is A plus B times A minus B. So that is 1 minus or 1 plus cosine x times 1 minus cosine x all over 1 minus cosine x. Cancel, cancel. Limit as x approaches 0. Now, I'm going to substitute the value of x. So, 1 plus cosine 0. Cosine 0 is 1. So, 1 plus 1, that is equal to 2. Uh -huh. 